What attracted you to the part of Cosmo? Um, I've been a huge fan of Marvel Cinematic Universe since I was 14, I think, which is 12 years, 13 years ago. Uh, I think that's the first time when I actually got to go to cinema by myself without my family, parents, etc. Uh, because of Guardians of the Galaxy, because that movie made me feel like I will belong somewhere and being able to participate in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 uh, and playing Cosmo has been the best thing that I can dream of. Um, so what made me inspired by joining it and playing exactly Cosmo is that she's strong, she's loyal, she is lovable and she's loving as well. And she's going to show her loyalty and her strength and her dedication to all of these Guardians who have taken over nowhere and she feels like she belonged there um, with all her heart and her sanity, even as she's going to do some insanely in unthinkable things um, to help them and to save the galaxy. Uh, so everything in her made me attracted to play her. And the idea of having that kind of an unconditional love, because we all know that puppies, dogs have it in them. And I think we as human beings should learn from them that that's important and let's try to do it as much as possible. So maybe maybe that was the reason why I was absolutely doing it. And of course, that's freaking James Gunn and it's Marvel and this incredible cast. The character is CGI, so you voiced her. How did you approach finding your dog voice? What did that entail? Well, I was trying to play her with so many different voices. Um, so to find the right voice for Cosmo was, let's see which register, I'm not sure, is that right way to say it in English? Um, tonally, is it gonna be a deeper voice? Is it gonna be a higher voice? Is it gonna be something in the middle? Um, Cause she's a prototype of the first dog that has been sent to the Cosmo student moon called Laika. Um, and thinking about it, thinking about what's her personality, because judging by myself personally, I have periods of times where I'm speaking with a lower voice and I have periods of times where I'm excited and my voice goes high. So she had the variety of um, tonals, um, I think, um, to to feel in the moment of, of the things that she's going through. But I think somewhere in the middle was the right place to be because we don't know how old she's been when she's been sent there. And she kind of remained the same age. So she's experienced, but at the same time, she might be just two, three, four years old. Um, yeah. What kind of conversation did you have with James Gunn about concerning Cosmo? And what did he want the character to convey? James Gunn had been uh, with me every step on the way in this movie, um, guiding me and making me feel safe and making me feel protected and heard and made me a collaborator of this movie, which is incredible because we as actors always desire to have a voice, to have a thought that can be heard and seen. Um, and he is capable of doing that, which makes you more open and willing to share and improvise more because that's where great things can happen. You open up, try something, and then he's guiding you to the best direction. Um, so we did have lots of conversation and I got to spend a lot of time there wearing a mock-up suit and just staying over hours and watching all of these people and watching how this whole machine is working. Um, we tried different things. He made me feel like I'm this pure creature because I believe that Cosmo is a pure creature and she is open-hearted and open-minded and she's just there and she's doing it. She doesn't care that much about herself. She's just gonna sacrifice herself to do something bigger um, and have so much energy. Because sometimes we as humans are depressed or slow or we're even lazy, not in the mood. She's not exactly like that. Till the moment that she doesn't have any more strength in her, she's gonna do it all to, to just be there for them. And James made me think about that and made me happier, to be honest, because thinking of her as somebody, something happier than me, made me happier as well. There was a dog stand-in on set. Tell us about Slate. Did he help inform the character for you in any way? Yeah, well, watching him and seeing what a 
crazy beautiful creature that was. He was running and jumping, and he was perfect and disciplined. But at the same time, his energy and his excitement—it's something that I need in my life. <laughs> I think we all need it. Uh, so it helped me a lot. It helped me to develop Cosmo more because when you look at these puppy eyes and you see that, oh my God, there is this and there is that and there is food and there is excitement and there are so many people. I want to play with them. It helped me a lot. And oh my God, he was cute. As hell. I mean, it's such a beautiful creature. So it was just a double win to be able to play it and to watch it and play with it and pet him. Tell us about Cosmo's friendship with Craglin. Um, I was just with uh, Sean in in the next room, and he said that they're frenemies. I don't agree with that. I think they're friends. I think there is a bit of a fight in Craglin's head that that's um, independent, and I finally. Have